If someone were to take one step back that was negative and did research on 50 Cent's portfolio, or did research on his cachet, or his net worth, or his former investments, all you would have saw was a successful businessman making a decision to invest in Shreveport. And sometimes you can't change everybody. Some people are just negative. Let them be negative. I thought we needed to give it a chance. You're gonna always have those that are going to, to doubt. Had you seen a lot of rhetoric? Oh, of course, we all had. But not just about 50 Cent, about everything. We are great. And I say we, our entire area, we're great at being down on just about everything or finding the negative in just about everything. But let that doubt be that energy is what I've always said. You know, let it propel us to do even greater things. Um, a lot of people, we, it's just kind of social media age that your opinion typically becomes fact. What you think going on is what's going on. There are gonna be people that are gonna con be concerned and, and they were legitimate concerns. What I took those what were the concerns? Well, they were concerned about security. They were they were concerned about knuckleheads. They were they were just concerned that this would engender some misbehavior uh, within the city. And there was were, it, there was some it taste. because of who he is? Because I don't think there would have been the same concern for another artist that may have come. I I think it was more uh, maybe some generalizations about his fans, and some of the fans. Uh, within the city that they were concerned that they would not would not behave there there you know whenever you don't know a community there's there's tends to be somewhat of a of an apprehension about that so we took those as as apprehensions we tried to look through the comments themselves and say okay well is there an issue here that we ought to look at and and address and make sure that we're taken care of and that's basically how we approach that. I think it silenced them in a way that only God could have done it. We've chatted about this before. To my left and to your right, we see the Texas Street Bridge right here. We see cars going over it right now. It connects Shreveport downtown to the boardwalk over in Bossier City. 50 has said that he didn't feel like Bossier wanted him there because he wasn't allowed to use the boardwalk um, in that area. You are friends with uh, Bossier Mayor Tommy Chandler. Is this something that you will talk to him about and consider a change of heart? I think you have to look at each issue separately and, and each event separately. Uh, we now have history on our side and uh, uh, so we'll take a look at that. Mr. Uh, Mayor Chandler has to make the decisions that he thinks are appropriate for the security uh, and the well-being of the people of Bossier City. And I, and I respect Mayor Chandler for making the decisions he thinks are right, whether I agree with them or not. Shreveport and Bossier, we have to learn to work together. Let's just be clear, it is a divide. It's a racial divide. Yes, it is. That doesn't mean we can't overcome it. It doesn't mean we can't learn from this experience. But I am a Shreveport native. I'm happy 50 chose Shreveport. So I'm speaking on behalf of our mayor, Mayor Tommy Chandler. I'm speaking on his behalf, but he too feels the exact same way. And he too welcomes an opportunity to speak to Mr. Jackson and his group. But as it relates to uh, it being a racial decision, I feel confident and sure that it was not based on racism uh, whatsoever. Why wouldn't you? We're sister cities and uh, you have African Americans in Bossier City as well that love 50 Cent. I'm sure that you have Caucasian individuals that love 50 Cent as well. We are a brand. It is not a time for us to be divisive. It is a time for us to be united. But I'm happy that 50 is on this side of the water. All I can say is I set that up a month in advance. I went to the boardwalk, sat down with the manager. That was her last day there. She was leaving. She brought the new manager in. They were excited to have us, told me where to park the buses, told me where they wanted the citizens to park, um, about signage. Um, I told them I'd have an officer there start to finish, you know, so nobody's vehicles got broken into or anything like that. Uh, any mess that we left behind, I would personally make sure that it was cleaned up and done. And about two weeks before that, I got a phone call from the police department saying that that had been canceled. Why do you think Mayor Tommy Ch Chandler shut it down? I have no idea. Never spoke to him. I asked this uh, lieutenant if I could talk to somebody else. He said, nope, it's done deal. I said, okay. Accommodations were made on the Shreveport side when Bossier gets opportunities to have large events. I, I wish accommodations would have been made 
um, when it was our time to shine. We're moving forward. It's a learning lesson learned. We're gonna be positive about it, and we're gonna figure out next time how we work in Bozeman, how we use the boardwalk. You know, it's economic development. That's what I have saw this whole thing is, is the economic development. We have, a, we have a boardwalk. We understand it's having challenges. And this, this is one thing that I thought would be a positive idea. Let people park at the boardwalk, go shop, invest in that center, help bring that center back, and then we'll be their transportation hub to bring people back and forth between the eateries and shops all day long. I think it's important uh, to put out the message, regardless as to what has been said previously, that Bossier City supports and respects uh, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. We appreciate what he's doing in this community, and we know that we are twin cities, and we understand the benefit that anything that is good and positive for Shreveport obviously is the same for Bossier City.